market, and the whole of the G20 has a, a big interest and a substantial role. We are in extraordinary times. The global economy is facing uh, shocks which are wholly without uh, precedent, and we need a new approach that's appropriate uh, given these uh, conditions. The G7 is no longer a little club on its own. The emerging market economies have to be part of uh, the solution, part of the decision making, and that's, that's what we're looking for. Dentro de 30, 60, 90 dias, nós vamos ter que ter as soluções para a regulação financeira internacional, para as novas formas de atuação de certos organismos. Então, o que podemos fazer agora é fortalecer o fundo monetário, porém com mais representatividade, é, modificar o Financial Stability Forum, colocando os países emergentes dentro dele para uma ação imediata e formarmos grupos de trabalho a partir do G20, que se reunirá na próxima semana e terá, portanto, a chancela né, dos presidentes da República, que tem o poder político maior. Our conclusion was that, irrespective of where the crisis started, in this case in the United States, all countries around the table, and probably all countries around the world, are concerned and impacted. Yes, sir. G20 is very important. It's a very large part of uh, world GDP. But nevertheless, it's only 20 countries. Uh, the IMFC represents 185 countries, and you have a lot of countries having importance in the world, even economic importance, that are not represented in the G20. Uh, for answer to this, uh, for that is probably the first global crisis. And from this point of view, the resources of the IMF today are enough. But tomorrow, we don't know what can happen. The fact that it's a global crisis means that you may have, at the same time, a large number of countries needing IMF support. Uh, you know, France is talking about... Ah, the EFP, Yes, sir.